My name is Sean Marithi and I'm a character animator in ATEC. So I feel like the animation program here has really set up the necessary foundations I need in order to become a successful animator. Advice I give to incoming animation students is go to the lab, spend a lot of time in the lab because that's really where your good work is going to come from. To go seek professors outside of class, not only for critiques on assignments or questions about homework, but to also seek some mentorship from them. The professors themselves are actually industry professionals, so they have that experience so they can actually share what they've learned and they can tell us what you know obstacles that they face so that they can teach us not to face those at the same time. After getting rejected from animation, 3, I really took time to realize why I'm doing this, if this is something I really wanted to do, and how I can overcome the feeling I got from being rejected from one of the most prestigious classes in the animation program. One thing I didn't want to do was give up. That being said, being rejected is not really the easiest thing, and you have to really look at it as either something that you can sit and be sad about, or you can use it as some form of energy that will push you into new perspectives. I was looking for internships here in Dallas, and I remember I was looking through my phone and it said, Hi Sean, I'm the creative recruiter from Pixar. Are you still available this summer? And I like read it and I said, wait, does this really say Pixar on it? I just kind of stood out of my bed and I was like, wait, is this really like happening? And I remember I was like walking around the house kind of like saying like, Pic why is Pixar emailing me? Like they must have somebody else or they must have me confused with somebody else. What makes a good portfolio is one that showcases good stories, that you have a clear understanding of the animation principles. You can also illustrate your personality through your work.